We have an overall bikini champion. to the video today we're gonna do a full day of eating and it's gonna be my last low carb day I don't know what it is but I always tend to pick up the vlog camera on my last low day I don't know why but I feel like I'm always saying it's my last low day um, so I'm gonna vlog that for you guys today so it's gonna be a low carb low day or sorry low carb full day of eating so first meal of the day is gonna be my oats bloop one packet of better oats, 60 grams of egg whites cooked in there in intervals. And then I have 28 grams of raw unsalted almonds. And then for flavor, I just do a little bit of cinnamon and I have like a stevia packet that I use and it's delicious. I also have some black coffee over there in my cute new Target mug. <laughs> and then I have my Evagen Patriot Pop aminos which are so delicious I recommend them cold so yummy and I think that's about it right now so this morning I did check-ins and I need to send them over so I record them on this camera and then I like um, send them to my phone and then I have to go through and screenshot the videos and then send them over to my coach so I have not done that yet but I did just want to come on here and say hello welcome to the video we are six weeks out you guys things are getting real i will see you guys at meal number two all right guys time for my next meal it's gonna be a big one I don't have enough egg whites in there, so we're gonna grab some more of that. Alright, you guys, I'm really craving some chocolate, so we're gonna do the fudge brownie today. So much chaos. Alright, you guys, so I'm making some protein ice cream right now. So I did 24 grams of my diametized fudgy brownie and I just want, I'm like craving chocolate. So that's the protein I did. I did half a cup of the unsweetened almond milk and then I did a full cup of ice and you just blend on like a really, really low speed until 
hell it is like ice cream. It takes a minute and some patience, but I promise you, it's whoops! Ah! The macros! I promise you, it's worth it. So delicious. eat this with this omelet meal but not till dessert so I'm gonna throw this in the freezer so it just gets a little bit more creamy all right so it's been flipped and I have mushrooms on this side with this is my favorite inside topping for this you guys and then I did some chili lime we are just going to bloop, flip that final product you guys in here is like the final final product so I put the guacamole on top kind of like some icing and this meal is fabulous delicious got that at Target this weekend I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go grab the um, protein ice cream out of the freezer and then I will show you guys that in just a second but I want to eat this first and eat that as dessert I also grabbed another water, so. What's up, you guys? All right, so we're back with our ice cream. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So I just took two rice cakes, crumbled them up on top, and it's just like this delicious ice cream meal. I love it, I love it. So, the, there we go. The reason I'm eating these two meals together is because I want to go do the rest of my cardio on lunch. Mm. The ice cream got really frozen, so I'm gonna let it sit for a second. But I wanna do the rest of my cardio on lunch. So yesterday, and I had no excuse because the day before was the weekend, but whatever. I probably got like five and a half to six hours of sleep and that has actually been sufficient for the most part this whole prep but yesterday it felt like I got like four hours of sleep like that's how exhausted I was I notice when I don't get enough sleep I have no willpower I have no motivation I am in a super negative headspace and I just have no like drive for my goals none and my head is in a fog. I'm fucking cranky. Like I am mean, irritable, cranky, and I am just like exhausted. Like I just feel exhausted. Like I feel like I just want to lay on the ground and just melt into the floor. Like that's how exhausted I feel. So usually I didn't feel that way unless I'm running on like three or four hours of sleep, which makes sense. But yesterday I probably got like five and a half to six and I felt that way. So I think I hit a threshold, you guys. I weighed myself in on my last low day, so the morning of my refeed, and I hit 123.7. So I think I've hit that threshold where I am just like basically in, control, in a controlled starvation environment. So my body fat is really low, and I'm just down to a uh, like a number on the scale where I'm just I'm just low so I'm just low energy I'm just I'm in a control a control why can't I say that fucking word I am in a controlled starvation at this point so I think that just is going to require more recovery which makes complete sense <sighs> so I want to take more control of that because if I continue to do that to myself for the last six weeks of this prep, I will either give up or I will not put in my full effort. I will get a really negative headspace about competing and that's not what I want because it'll literally only be attributed to the fact that I'm just like cranky, tired and sore and I can't handle because I'm not letting my body recover well enough. So I really need to take that into control. Into my, con I need to control that. Oh. 
instead of doing my, because I do a big chunk of my cardio, like 75% of it in the morning, but I can't fit it all in. Like it's too much to fit all in one session that early in the morning because I do have to be at work by 8.30 and I'm already up at 4.20. So I am going to do a good chunk of it in the morning. And what I've been doing is the other bit of it at night after my lift. And I've been getting home around 8.39 and then I don't get into bed until like 10 or 10.30. And then I'm up at 420. So that's not going to work anymore. It's unacceptable. I can't do it. Um, it needs to change. So I'm going to do a chunk of it in the morning. And then on my lunch breaks, I'm going to crank out the other half. Unless it's like Friday, I guess I'm fine because then I can sleep in Saturday. But I just, my life at this point is revolving around prep. It is going to be revolving around my eating and my training and my sleeping because that is what you do when you want to win. That is what you do when you want to put the best fucking package on stage. And that's what I care about. And I want to do it in the healthiest, best way. So in order to do that, I need to take care of all of these components, you guys. You cannot slack on any of this. Um, I've, this is what I've done in the past. This is this, like I reach this point and this is what I do. I don't change things to help the fact that I'm tired, to help the fact that I'm not recovering. Um, and then by the end of the prep, you're so fucking exhausted that you're just done and you don't care anymore because your motivation is shit because you've been feeling like shit for a month and you're just so sick of it and done with it that you're just like, whatever, I'm gonna go eat whatever I want, I'm gonna go do whatever I want, I'm not gonna train anymore because you're just so mentally drained because you let yourself get that way. That is what I've done to myself in the past. And no more, I am taking control of this today, right now, from here on out, like I am doing this better. This is just, this been whole, the whole theme of this whole thing is I'm just doing this better, I am doing this to reach that elite level. So, chunk in the morning, the rest of it at lunch. That way, by the time that I get to the gym, all I have to worry about is my lift, my abs, and maybe some stretching. Yeah. And then that way, my goal is I need to get out of the gym by eight and in bed by nine. If I'm in bed by nine, falling asleep, that is at least seven and a half hours of sleep. That is, optimal. If I can get to bed by 8.30, that's even better. But I mean, even just getting like over seven hours is going to be optimal for me. Um, like I said, I could use, I, I could use one more hour in the day. One more, like one more. I get off work at 5.30. If I get to the gym by six, I can work out till eight. I mean, I can get, you know, I could just, I could just use one hour, but we all have the same 24 hours in the day, you guys, so I am just going to use what I've got, and this is the new plan. So on lunches, I no longer am just like, oh, I'll hang out, or I've been going to the chiro chiropractor, that's no longer a thing unless I need to do it, unless I have something that's fucked up that I need to fix. Um, running errands, like doing other stuff, like prep is the priority. We are six weeks out. It is my number one. It is what I've been working for f since like March. So it is the top. I wanna be a pro. I wanna compete with the pros. Like I don't just wanna get to the pro stage and had killed myself doing it. Like I wanna get there and I wanna compete and I wanna do it. So this is what we have to do. I'm actually excited because I'm gonna do it running outside. If I don't feel like I can run outside because that is exhausting and it's like 90 degrees, um, my gym is like two seconds away. So I will just go crank out the rest of my cardio there. And then when I go to the gym at night, I can put all of my effort and all of my focus into my lifts and into my abs and into that part of it. And you know what? We're gonna get to a point where I'm gonna have to start posing anyways at night, so all of it, all of it. So that's why I am combining this meal. I need to stop talking. Um, I'm combining these meals and I pro this is what I'll just be doing from here on out. And that way they're digested by the time I have to go do cardio during, by the time that I get to go do cardio at lunch. So there's story time with Jordan. Just a little change in my schedule, you guys. 
if you want to be elite, you have to do what they do. Like professional athletes probably get between eight and 10 hours of sleep minimum because they are, we are asking so much of our bodies, so much of our bodies to compete, like so much. You are training six to seven days a week on low calories, super high cardio plus lifting, like, and then the stress of everyday life. Like we all have lives. I have a job still. I have a life still. I have personal shit that goes on. I have like work shit that goes on, you know, it's just like everything. So we are asking so much of our bodies and now it is my turn to recognize that and take care of my body so that it can keep doing what I'm asking it to do for another six weeks. <sighs> okay, that's all, I promise. I will see you guys at my lunch break. <laughs> what is up you guys? All right, so I totally started eating my next meal but I forgot that I'm showing you guys all my meals. Hold, please. Left us, this is Jordan. Okay, so I did my outdoor cardio and I just went down to a part of a park that we have and there is like a zigzag uphill walkway. So I would like, I started at the bottom and I like would run part of it, walk part of it, run part of it, walk part of it, and then like go down. And I just did that for the allotted amount of time. So it wasn't like too difficult, but I'm definitely feeling it. It's going to be interesting. I'm definitely going to have to do that at least four days a week now. Um, just so I can get to bed earlier. But anyways, you already heard all that. Next meal. I'm so excited. I'm starving. And it's high carb day tomorrow, you guys. I'm already thinking about it. So I have three servings of that cauliflower rice, which was like 255 grams, which is amazing. 50 grams of asparagus, that's just what I needed to make my macros work. And then I have 3.5 grams of air fried chicken. I have kernel seasonings, garlic parmesan and white cheddar in here. And then I have mustard. Delicious. And it's so good. I also have a diet root beer because I want some sweet stuff. And yeah, that's all. I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. I am feeling it today. I'm just, I'm feeling it always, you guys. I'm just down to low body fat and I just, I feel it. So that's my meal. I also had to put my hair back because it was pissing me off. It was irritating the crap out of me. All right, I'm gonna get back to work, focus. This is my pre-workout meal, and then I will see you guys. What's up, you guys? All right, I am actually already back from the gym. It was a leg day, and it was brutal. It was pretty much all I can do to get in there and just like get through it. It's my last low day, it was a leg day, like it was rough. My legs are so weak and tired and yeah so i'm in a bathing suit and i'm gonna take an ice bath so this i've done this will be my third time now and like i said my legs are just like so weak so exhausted that like functioning today was just rough so i know this is the time that i need to do this ice bath uh if i'm going to finish out the week strong so this will totally take all the soreness away take all the fatigue away and yes, look at this cute little, I don't know how to point this thing. There we go. It's super cute. It's a little like American flag guy. <laughs> super cute. Okay, so I bought two bags of ice, 10 pounds each. Filling this bad boy up with just ice cold water and then we're going to hop in it. <sighs> it looks freezing. I'm not excited. 
Okay, so we're gonna shoot for 10 to 15 minutes. I think the longest I've been able to go is 11. <clears throat> the worst part is your toes start to freeze and they hurt. And so for me, that's like the worst part because those start to like hurt. <sighs> All right, let's start our timer. And get the fuck in. Ah! Oh, I'm not excited. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. 20 seconds down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so basically what this does, you guys, is this goes go to do do boo. It's really not that bad, but um, it's going to reduce inflammation. Um, it's going to, like I said, take away that like massive fatigued feeling. <sighs> I need to tuck that in. Um, that you get if you've prepped, you understand like when you are super low calorie <clears throat> and doing cardio every day and lifting every day, like it's not like the it's not like your upper body that gets rest, right? Like your lower body, you're literally doing cardio every day and you're doing legs two or three times a week. So they just get exhausted so quickly. So this is just like gonna get rid of all of that. Hopefully the last time I did this, I slept so well. Like I was knocked out and I had like a super deep sleep. It was fabulous. So let's hope that happens. So, <laughs> so far, um, the last two days, I have been good at getting my workout in quickly and getting home. So it's only 7.30. Um, it was really nice doing my cardio on lunch. And then that way I was able to just 100% focus on my leg day and my abs. And yeah, that was lovely. So I usually buy three bags of ice and I only did two and I almost feel like I need three because it's not that cold. But I don't know, does it have to be like blisteringly cold or does it just have to be cold? I don't know. Cause it's, it's I mean, it's still cold and I'm gonna be red. But does it have to be like blistering cold? And I'm sure as the ice melts, it'll get colder. I just like literally snuck in the house and ran up here and did this. And I feel like my parents like know I'm home, but they're probably like, where is she? Cause I usually come like say, hi, I'm home. So they're probably wondering where the fuck I am. Yeah, I think I needed that third bag of ice cause all this ice is almost melted. I mean, it's pretty fucking cold. And if I like move my legs around and like, that just made it really cold. Yeah, that just mixed it up. We're good. We're okay. All the like cold was like sitting at the top. So I just moved it around and now it just got really cold. Now we're tingling. All right, you guys. So I just wanted to let you know, I'm so sorry I didn't record my leg workout. Like I said, we're at that point where I just, the most I could do was get in there. Like it was a struggle to just get there today. So. I wasn't gonna set up my camera and record myself when I could barely even get through the workout. Like my legs have been shot for like three or four days now. So this ice bath was necessary. It is most beneficial to do it uh, right after a leg day, but at any point is really beneficial, but it is really beneficial to do a post leg day. And last time, the first time I did it post leg day, that was when I like felt the best from it. And last time I did it, it was just kind of like, I did it one day randomly and it, I just didn't feel like it worked the same. So, but I'm glad I got to talk to you. I don't know if I'll use any of this footage, but it's making time go by. Whew, whew, faster. Um, um, We're at eight minutes, woo! All right, I'll see you guys at dinner. All right, you guys, we're all done. I don't know if you can see it. 
Here, I'll go in my bedroom. But there we go. Can you see? I'm all red. So I definitely needed that third bag of ice. It wasn't as cold as usual. I just hope it does the same thing. Now you can tell that I'm red. Look at that. I was able to stay in there for 17 minutes, with minutes, which is another reason I feel like it wasn't cold enough and the ice was melted like half the time. So three bags of ice, I would recommend to get it like really icy cold. But if I wake up tomorrow with that same effect, then if there's no reason to make it that cold, then I don't want to. But anyways, I'm fucking starving. I will show you guys what I eat. All right, you guys, I need to be in bed in 30 minutes. So I just chewed one of these nasty ass fucking melatonins. I'm gonna try some of this. I believe I have just a little bit of water left. It says you're supposed to have so much more water than this. So if anything, it'll just be really sweet. I'll let you know. <sighs> so I put sweats on because after that ice bath, I was freezing. And please don't judge my bedroom. It's a nightmare, but I don't care. I'm exhausted all the time now. Okay, so I want to do this quickly because I'm starving. And like I said, I need to get to bed in 30 minutes. It is zucchini noodles, asparagus, nacho cheddar, kernel seasonings. What did you just, why did you just freak out? That was weird. And chili lime from Trader Joe's, which I actually just ran out of. Sad face. All right. The maple and brown sugar butter oats. And then I got a cake batter extract. So I have a few drops of that in here. And then I have 50 grams of egg whites, one packet of stevia. And then you guys, I'm just on a chocolate kick. I need to get an Eva Gin chocolate because I, the Stroopwafel is good, but I'm like, I want chocolate. So I did 20 grams of my fudge brownie dimatize. So that's what we're doing. And then I have a black cherry boop guy. And you guys, I have the heater on in my room. It's like 80 degrees outside. I have the heater on in my room. I am wearing sweatpants, a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. And I'm like so comfortable, it feels so good. So that ice bath was great. I am hoping to get to bed here in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna eat this. I need to get off so I can eat and drink that. Here, let's taste it for you. Oh yeah, it's just like potent. The flavor is good. It's a good blue raspberry flavor. I'm gonna eat everything and then like take that as like a shot because <laughs> it's just strong. <laughs> all right you guys i hope you enjoyed my low carb day full day of eating um and yes i was thinking because i always do the last low carb day that if i'm up to it i may just do uh, my high carb day for you guys tomorrow as well i'm so excited i need the calories i need the carbs i need the food so i'll see you in the next video Please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel, you guys. We are six weeks out. We're getting there. We're getting there. Closer every day. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.